Hey everyone, I'm Asaf from David Systems and today I'm going to tell you about something really exciting that's coming up in update 2018.1.0, speech to text. You definitely want to check this one out. So here we go. In this demonstration, I'm using the multi-track editor from David. However, you can get speech to text in all audio editors from David as an add-on feature. Also, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to record my own sound file and then analyze it per speech to text. To demonstrate the capabilities of speech to text, I'm also going to use a pre-made longer audio file. So we're going to cover a lot of things. So let's start. To start off, we need to change our panel to record mode to record our own audio file. This can be done by clicking on record mode in the bottom left corner of the screen. Now using the record button and hitting play, we will record our own audio track. And here I'm going to go with our motto. David Systems, our motto is listening in action. Now after finishing recording, we need to export our file. To do that, we'll go to the upper right corner of the record panel and choose one of the four export buttons. We can also use the F keys F124 to do that. After clicking, David exported our newly recorded entry into the right side panel where we can analyze it for speech to text. We're going to right click the file and then we're going to scroll down to speech to text analysis and then we're going to choose the language we spoke, speech matrix English. After choosing the used language, a new icon will appear on our file. This means that the file is being analyzed for its speech content. After the analysis is done, the icon is going to change to the icon of a document, signaling there is a speech to text analysis within this audio file, which can be of course saved and brought up at a later date. As you can see, the icon has changed and that means the analysis is done. What we want to do now is go to the single track panel to see our speech to text analysis. We will change to single track mode through the tab at the bottom left corner of the screen. Now we want to use our recorded file in the single track editor. So what we're going to do is just drag and drop it into the track, just like that. And as you can see in the speech to text box, right under our track, we can see the sentence that we just recorded. Now to show the true capabilities of speech to text, I need to use a longer audio file and I'm going to use one applicable to the scenarios that a real show might use using David 2018 release. And we happen to have a show from one of our co-workers. So now I'm dragging and dropping the new audio file simply in the right side panel. Now, as you can see, this file has the same document icon like the one I recorded. This is because this file was saved with the speech to text analysis. Now let's listen to the playback and see how the text is completely in sync. Good morning. This is Abby with your daily Berlin briefing for Tuesday, January 2nd, 2018. So speech to text gives a visual ability to control your position in the audio file using the text. We can see also that we can mark a certain part of the text that will automatically sync and mark the same part of the audio file. We can use that to cut or copy and just edit our audio file using the text more than the audio file itself. As you can see, I just copied a part of the marked text. This feature upgrades your editing capabilities, giving you great overview over your audio projects. And because of the synchronization to the audio file, it makes your work so much more efficient and saves you a lot of time. This also upgrades your archiving capabilities. A large audio file like this one can get very chaotic because you don't always know where you are at what part and what you need to edit. So what speech to text does, it just visualizes the entire process. I can search different parts of my audio file via speech to text through this search panel. I'm just going to write down police and how many times police showed up in the audio file. And as you can see, I can see directly every time the word police showed up. You can see the different colors indicating different information inside the text corresponding to your audio file. Red is your current position in the timeline. Blue is synced information, that's what we saw before, and petrol and yellow are searched entries, petrol being the first searched entry. Now this feature is not only extremely cool, it saves a lot of time in editing and in archiving and getting the information that you need 
on the spot. The sheer amount of benefits given by speech to text makes us very proud to integrate this feature to our audio editors. And we're very excited for our customers to discover the added value of editing audio with speech to text. Well, that was all for today, folks. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget, release 2018.1.0 for David is getting a lot of cool things. You want to stay tuned for more videos and content from David Systems. And until then, end of May, the release, don't forget David Systems listening in action. Ciao.